Britain's latest book, The Natural Home, is full of tips on how to live a natural, sustainable life. It is packed with recipes for everything from the kitchen to gardening, cleaning and beauty products, as well as a whole heap of some really great advice and some funny stories too. From the original <laughs> Greek goddess herself, it is always a pleasure to have you on the show. Wendell, listen, thank you for yes. joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. It's always uh, lovely to pop in. Really great. I've just been reading a hilarious story about your, you and your husband, Paul, trying to do a diet in this book oh. and how he essentially lost his sight. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he he basically I'm not black and white and he is, so if he does something he does it a hundred and fifty percent. So yeah, he basically wasn't eating enough. Uh went to the gym, came back and was just like stumbling around. Okay, I can't see. Uh so yeah, that was the end of doing crazy diets. Crazy diets. Did no, not work crazy diets are gone. Okay, fair yeah. enough. No, but that's what I love about you two. You're both ex very experimental. You give everything a go and then you tell us about how it went and you're real about it, which we love. Yeah. That's why we I relate. Mean, kind of on this, I hate the word journey, but I've been doing it for like fifteen years, just getting chemical chemicals out, you know, trying to lead a healthier nana kind of life. And but when I started, I think I was a bit ahead of my time. I thought everyone would be like really into it, like yeah, yeah baking soda, vinegar, let's go. Uh, but I think now is the, thus mm -hmm. the re-release. We've put four books into one, so four books that I've written on the topic into one. And I think now, you know, we're, we're getting plastic bags out of supermarkets, we're getting plastic straws out. We're actually yeah. taking some affirmative action. So I think now is the time that everyone's going to go. Wendell, you're a hero instead of Wendell, you're a mad hippie. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because when you do <laughs> start this you were ahead of the game and, yeah. and people did think that you were a bit of a mad hippie. Oh my friends all thought I was having a nervous breakdown like they really thought that I'd lost my marbles and were quite concerned about me and they'd come around for coffee and I'd be in my kitchen like making spray cleaners and glass cleaners and laundry liquid and they'd be like oh. So what do you think good. it was? What do you think, Mendel, it was that gave you the foresight to do that before the rest of us? Because now we, you know, we like to take chemicals out of, our, you know, cleaners oh, yeah. and stuff. I think, How come you were ahead of the well, game? Well, I think because I'm a journalist, uh, I'd been, I, I've got an interest in, and I've been reading studies, and the studies were just starting to come out right. around 15 years ago, and I was researching, and I just thought I have to do something about this in my own life, and just did it. You just yeah. went ahead and did it. Yeah. I mean, you made quite a lifestyle change for yourself too, haven't you? In the last few years. Yeah, five years ago we moved to the Hokianga and uh, that was the beginning of my dream life. Uh, you know, I'd always wanted to do it and finally found the right place and it was the right time and I've just been so happy there. It's how just long, been amazing. How long had you thought about doing that before you actually did it? Oh, I'm sure a, a lot of people time. watching and thinking, oh, we'd like to make a lifestyle change, but uh, it's Do you know hard. what I did, Mel? I, I know this sounds mad, hippie and ooky spooky, but I did like a mood board. So you get the pictures of what you want, which in my case, which is a beautiful country property by the sea and you put it up and, and I put it up in my lounge and poor my husband was like get that down that's just ridiculous what are you doing <laughs> and I said it's a mood board and the more we look at it the more it's going to happen uh, but it did because I think you focus on it and it becomes a reason to you know work those longer hours to save that money you just kind of it becomes your focus so yeah Paul puts up with a lot by the way he's <laughs> a very, very patient man. No and I'm pleased you stuck at it because I'm sure there would have been times where you're like oh I don't know about this <laughs> but you, you have stuck at it and over the five years you know, the last five years, what sort of changes have you seen? Um, in, in the family's general health has got so much better and now of course I've got my parents living with me in the Hokianga who are in their mid-80s and mum has early Alzheimer's so I'm doing a lot of that with them, nice. uh, trying to get them into a little bit more chemical free but just generally living in the country, you know, having hens and a garden, I finally have the garden that's fully, you know, we live out of the garden, it's a really nice way to live and mm. I'm really lucky that I've managed to be able to do it um, mm. and I think most people would want to if they could, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So the gardening thing is obviously a big thing for you. There's a the yeah, huge. in the book as well. So how did you figure out the whole crop rotation thing and everything? You make it <laughs> simple. But you know. The thing about learning to garden is the mistakes. You know, you, you and you do, you make so... I mean, my, my good friend Linda Helen is such a good gardener and she's always laughing at me because I'm saying, look, I'm trying this this time. And she's like, no, it's not going to work. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's making mistakes, learning from them and not being too hard on yourself. You know, if you have a bad crop of tomatoes, OK, there's next year. And you get like that rather than just trying to be you know perfect the whole time and like something out of a magazine it just it's just not that's not realistic you you it was quite a big switch for you going from a corporate life to this is this the book that will aid people that want to do that switch themselves oh absolutely it's got i mean all the recipes in here i've tried myself they all work um, and I say to people, if you want to make the switch, get your spray cleaner bottle, tip it out. I know that's going into the ocean, it's not that great. But you can make a spray cleaner in five minutes. Water, 
a, a bit of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking soda, a bit of uh, dishwasher detergent and some nice essential oils. Five minutes. Yeah. Shake it up, done. And you can also make beetroot lip and blush tint as well. You can make like a natural <laughs> tint with beetroot. I know, you right? You can find in this book as well. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about your chickens because you love your chickens. Oh, yeah, some great stories about the chickens. Oh, uh, well. They need their own book, by the way. But. They do need their own book. Well, the, the story that's in there, oh, do you want me to tell that on air about the, the chicken that got the eggs stuck? Anyway, well. it, involved, it involved KY jelly, which, which I happened to have, unopened. unopened. Uh, You're an experimental yeah. couple. <laughs> yes. uh, so, no, when you have chickens, there's a lot of, you know, they, they have a lot go wrong sometimes. So, yes, we had to extract the egg uh, out of it. As, you know, I'm not a vet, but I managed to do it, so it was good. <laughs> I've now got rooster, so I've never had a rooster before, and that's interesting because they are hilarious. Oh, he's uh, noisy he as puts well. himself to bed before the hens. He's supposed to protect the hens, like, and <laughs> I go up and spell. put the hens away, and he's inside the hen house, all snuggled up asleep. <laughs> so yeah, they're, they're just great fun, great pets, and of course, lots of lovely eggs. Okay, yeah. Wendell, top tips, top tips for people watching, thinking, okay, I want to change my life. My top tip for everyone is just go into that cleaning cupboard, pull it all out, throw it out, and get started. Go and, and the thing, in the 15 years since I've been doing this, you can buy baking soda online, you can get it at the bin-ins, you can get the borax, the vinegar, stock up and just start making. And just start with the spray cleaner, as I mentioned. Uh, and the thing about chemicals, the worst one, the one to avoid, is fragrance. So if there's anything yeah. on anything that says fragrance, that's the one that gives you the allergies, the eczema, Get it out of your laundry powder, get it out of your, your cleaners, and that's a good start. Awesome. And another tip would be buy the book buy as well. The book. And buy yeah, my buy book. The book. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and there's lovely pictures of Hokianga. Gorgeous. So nice. Hey, well, thank you so much. <laughs> Wendell's awesome. beautiful new book, The Natural Home, is available now from all the usual places. And her radio show, The Long Lunch, broadcasts 12 to 3 for a little bit longer. Weekdays on Radio Live. <laughs> thank you very much, Wendell. Thanks.